let us see our project demo here i am having one simple card inside this i am having only one input field to select images below this i am having submit button and here i am having one link view profile now when i click on this view profile whatever images i have inserted inside the database i am able to fetch that and i am able to display those images i will click on back choose file i will be selecting this file profile to click on open now i will click on submit data is inserted successfully click on view profile now below this i will be having this image so now we are going to see how to insert images inside the database as well as from database how to display those images in our website so this is very important project because almost entire time whenever you are creating any php project this concept you will be using to insert any images inside the database this will be simple but very important project you should be having understanding of how images will be working and how should we insert images inside the database hi students if you want to master php there is one complete php mastery course available on udemy which is having 43 plus hours of video content and eight projects to master each and every concept in php so enroll into the course link is provided in the description now let's continue with this project let us do our project setup you will be getting entire source code inside this folder profile card you will be having two folders final code and starter code inside this final code you will be having entire source code but inside the starter code you will be having html and css code copy this entire source code files come to htdocs inside that we have created complete php project here i will be creating new folder i will give the folder name as you can give anything i will just write here 04 profile card open and here i am going to paste all my source code i will open this inside this i am having include folder inside that i am having connect.php so using this i have connected to my database inside this whatever database you are giving you can give that name then we have index.php inside this i am having simple diff inside which i am having one form then i am having one input field for file and then one input field for button and finally here i am having one link to view profile then we have style.css in which all the stylings are given but accordingly you can change the stylings and you can display the stylings in your project then in display.php there is one simple table demo table later on we will be removing when we are writing our php code and finally we are having one link using this we can come back to index page let us create a database as well as table i have opened php my admin dashboard inside this i will click on new i will give my database name as image upload you can give anything i will click on create now i will be giving table name table name i will just write as profile i want only two columns i will select to click on create first column i will give id int and also i will be increasing auto increment which will be giving primary key now next i am just going to write here image for image data type will be varchar and length i will just give 255 okay simple table we have created now click on save if you want to give any username email accordingly you can give all the columns and you can insert the data and you can get the data but as of now let us focus only on this image so this is our database image upload inside this we have created profile 
now what i will do inside my connect.php i'm just going to change i will write my database that is image upload okay do not forget to change if you are working in starter code whatever database you have created accordingly you have to give the name let us understand important attribute whenever we want to insert any files to the database then we have to use that attribute that is nothing but in type before that let us see if we don't use what will be the issue so here inside this form i am having action and also i have given method then i am having two input fields this is my image input field and this is my button input field and this is my demo project when i click on view profile this demo table is displayed again i will click on back i will come to this profile card now what i want to do i just want to submit the image once i submit i should be getting all the details so let us see how to do above this i will be writing php code i will be closing php inside this i am going to check if is set i will be writing dollar post and inside this i am going to write submit why i am giving post here because we have given method is equal to post and whenever we click on submit button we are checking if this value is set if this is set what i have to do i just have to access this image properties so here i will be creating one variable image and for any file you can see i have given type is equal to file so for this instead of writing dollar post we have another super global variable that is dollar files and inside this we should be passing value of our name attribute copy and inside this i am going to paste now i am just going to write echo i will simply display image save it now if i refresh i will select one image open now when i click on submit i will be getting undefined array key image file why i am getting this error because it is not recognizing what this file is and what this file is containing because here we have given type is equal to file so whenever we are inserting any images or file from client to server then inside this form we should be using one important attribute that is n type here i will be writing n type this attribute is very important without this attribute we will not be able to insert any images or files to the database now here i am just going to write multi part slash form data so using this attribute we can easily insert images from client to server now as soon as i refresh let me just choose one file open now i will submit now i got another error array to string conversion and on line 5 okay why i am getting this error because i have used echo and we have already seen using this files super global variable whatever attributes we are having for image that will be returned as an array so this image is nothing but it is an array so for array we cannot use echo instead we will be using print r an entire thing i'm just going to wrap refresh this now you can see entire data whatever data i was having for that image that will be displayed as an associative array let me just format now i will refresh again i will just insert one image submit now you can see entire data is in form of associative array i am having name full path type of the image temporary name and also we are having error code as 0 and we have size in byte now if i just want to access this name for associative array how we were doing for accessing individual properties we can use echo inside this i will be passing my array 
then I will be passing this key. Save it. Refresh this one. Let me just insert some image. Submit. Now you can see I am able to access this link. So in the same way, you can access this temporary name. You can access the type accordingly based on our requirement. We can access. But only thing you should remember whenever we are giving type is equal to file. While submitting the form data, we should be using this files super global variable. And when we use this type is equal to file and when we are submitting images or files to the database, then we should use this important attribute. Without this attribute, it is not possible to insert any images to the database. Let us understand how to separate this name as well as this extension from our image name. So previously, we have seen all this data. So whenever we are inserting images inside the database, our name of the image and temporary name of the image is very important. So what I will do, I will just remove this. Instead, I will be creating one variable. I will give my variable name as image file name. And this will be equal to image. And inside this, I am just going to pass key value. I will write echo. Simply, I will be writing image file name. Save it. Refresh this one. Now, I am able to access image name. Similarly, if I want to access temporary name, below this, I will be creating one variable. I will write image file temp is equal to my array name. Inside this, I am going to pass this exact same key. If you do not pass this exact same key, then it will not be working. Here, I will be writing image file temp. Save it. Refresh this one. Now, again, you can see I am able to access this temporary part as well as I am able to access this complete image. Now, what I want to do from this image, I want to separate this name as well as I want to separate this extension so that I can check image which I am inserting. It should be having PNG format. It should be having JPEG or JPG. So, for that reason, I am just going to separate extension from my image name. So, just think for a second and answer yourself what property or what method we should be using to separate this file name and extension. And in between, we are having this dot. Till then, I will be writing the comment. I will write separate file name. If you got explode method, then you are correct. Because using explode, we can convert our string to array. Now here, what I will do, I will create one variable. I will write separate file name is equal to explode. From where I have to start separating, wherever I am having dot, I just have to separate. And here, for what I have to separate, I have to separate for my image file name. Copy and paste. Okay, this syntax we have already seen. When we did our third project, text transformation tool, inside that we have already understood what this explode method will be doing. So, this is my string. And from this string, wherever I am having dot, I just want to separate this as two data. So, this data will be inside index 0 then this data will be inside index 1. So, it is going to return array. So, how we have to print array? We should be using print r. Inside this, I am going to write print r. I will write separate file name. Save it. Now, I will refresh. Let me just select one file, profile 5. Click on submit. Now, you can see this is my array. Inside that 0th index, I am having profile 5. And at index 1, I am having JPEG. Let me add one break. Refresh. Again, I will select. I will select profile 4, submit. Now, I am having array. So, using this explode method, for this string, I have divided into two parts. Wherever I am having 0, this will be my first part. This will be my second part. Index 0, I am having this name. 
index 1, I am having this JPEG. So, here at index 1, we are having this extension. So, to access this extension, how should we write? I will just write here, come down. Below this, I will write file extension is equal to, now what I have to write? I just have to copy this array and from here, I just want to access index 1. Now, I will simply display this echo file extension. Refresh this. Now, you can see I am able to access extension. If you do not create variable and directly, if you just write here echo, let me come down. I will write here echo. Save it. Refresh this one. Again, I am able to access this JPEG. Okay, this variable is not present. So, that is the reason I am getting this warning. But still, I am able to access extension. But we need one variable. So, that is the reason we are creating separate variable. And for that variable, we are assigning that array index value. So, when we display it, we got the result as JPEG. And there is also another way. Instead of writing this index number, we can use end method. That I have not shown you. But still, if you are having images in uppercase, what you can do? Before inserting inside the database, just convert entire extension to lowercase. How we can do? By using string function, string to lower. Inside this, we are just going to pass our entire extension. Save it. Again, refresh. I will not be having any issues, but still here it is displayed in lowercase because in my image, I was having lowercase JPEG. But if you are having an uppercase, then you can just convert to lowercase. There is another way. Let me comment. Below this, I will be writing same file. File extension is equal to string to lower. Inside this, instead of passing like this, what I will do? I will just write here end method. Using this, it is just going to extract end part from this variable. Copy. This is nothing but our array which is having index 0 and index 1. Using this end method, we can access our index 1. Copy. Paste. Refresh this one. Again, I am having JPEG. So, any one of the way you can use. You can use either this one. Or you can use either this one and you can display the result. So, in this lecture, what we have seen? We have seen how to use explode function and how to separate our string into an array so that we can get access to our extension. Once we get access to our extension, we are converting our extension into lowercase. So, for safer side, I have converted. But if you want to display in uppercase or whatever format it is having, if you want to display in the same format, then also no issues. But still, I have converted to lowercase. And you can either use this way, index 1, or you can use this end method to access end value of an array. Okay. Let us understand use of move uploaded file function. We have successfully segregated our file name as well as this extension. Now, what I want to do, I just want to create one array. Inside that, I will be passing some extension and I will be checking if that extension is present, only then I have to upload my file. So, below this, what I will do? I will just keep this method. You can also use this way. Below this, I will be writing one comment. I will just write extension array. I will create one variable image extensions. I will create array inside this first. Let me pass JPEG. Then I will be using JPG. Then finally, I will be using PNG. If my image is having these extension, then only I should insert the image inside the database. Below this, I will be writing if. And here we are going to use our array method which we have already seen that is nothing but in array. So, using this we can check whether the value is present inside the array or not. So, what value we have to check? 
whatever extension we have separated from our image file name, we should check whether that extension is present inside this array. So how we are going to pass? Inside this, first we are going to pass our extension, then we will be passing our array variable. So this is my file extension where we are having this extension stored. I will just paste it here. Then we are having this array. I will copy. And below this, I am just going to paste. So what I am checking? I am checking whatever extension I have separated from file name, if that extension is present inside the array. If it is present, only then I have to upload the image. So below this, I will write echo. I will simply write here present. Save it. Let me refresh. Continue. Now I got present, which means the condition is true and I got the result as present. If it is not there, then I should not insert any image. So inside this, what I will do? If this is present, I will be using our function move uploaded file. Before that, I should be having one folder where we have to upload our files. So in server, whenever we want to upload, whatever folder we have to create, we will be creating in our local system. So here I will be creating one variable. I will write upload image. Okay, focus on these steps very carefully. Inside this, I will be creating one folder images. And inside this, what I have to store? I have to store this file name. I will copy this. Whatever file name I am having along with extension, entire thing should be saved. Why? Because in our folders, whenever we upload any images or whenever we save any images, it will be having extension as well. So that is the reason we are passing complete file name, which will be having this entire file name. So inside this images folder, I am just trying to upload this image file. After giving this images folder, next step, very important here inside this root directory, I'm just going to create images. Wherever you want, you can create this folder, but accordingly, you have to specify the path. So I'm inside my root directory itself. So I have given images. Inside this images folder, I have to upload the images. Below this, now to upload, we are having one function. We have this move underscore loaded underscore file. And this will be taking two parameters. First is our file name. And this file name, it is not indicating this file name. This file name basically means our temporary file name. Then we are having destination. Where is our destination? Where are my files present? My files are present in this path. And this entire path I have stored inside this variable. So first thing what I should pass, I should be passing file name. So inside this, first we should be passing our temp file name. Here I have already accessed my temp name and I have assigned to this variable. So I will copy. Whenever we are uploading images, we will be uploading our image file name. Then while moving this file, then we will be using this image file temp. And when you hover, you can see it moves an uploaded file to a new location. So we are just shifting the location. Then next, what we should be passing, we should be passing our destination. And inside this, we are having our images. So I will be passing this folder. Save it. Now, as soon as I refreshed, what happened? This data is still present. And inside my images folder, this image will be added. We have not uploaded from here. But here I have refreshed. So whatever data I am having here, according to that, this image is inserted inside my images folder. Now let us insert one more image. Choose file. I will select this profile too. Click on open. Before that, let me just write here. I have opened this images folder. Now I am having only profile fold. As soon as I click on submit, you can see profile 2 is also added. And here I am having all the data related to profile 2 image. 
this is how we are going to check for the extension and using this move loaded file we are just moving this image to this new location and this is my temporary location and here and inside this folder we are having all these images okay if you are getting confused do not worry just practice two to three times then it will be easy for you to understand this concept and also there is one more way which i forgot to mention now instead of accessing this you can simply let me just copy same line you can directly pass this entire files copy this will be giving me array inside this i can access this temp name save it refresh this one you can see again i am able to access that temporary path you can either use this way or you can use this way because using this we are getting array and from that array i am just accessing this temp name but one thing you should remember whenever we are uploading images from client to server then it is very important we should be having some path where we are uploading our folder and from that path we are shifting to this location using this move loaded file now let us see let us insert one more image i will select profile one open just focus on this images folder as soon as i click on submit profile one is added as well as entire data related to profile one is displayed now if i open this images that images will also be shown this is how we will be using this move uploaded file now finally whatever concept we have learned till now let us use all those and insert the image inside the database i will come down once my image is uploaded what i will do below this i will be writing insert query i will write insert image is equal to insert into my table name i will come here my table name is profile copy insert into profile and and this is my column my column name is image copy insert into profile here i'm just going to paste my column name i will write here values now inside this what we have to insert inside database what we have to insert just think for a second we cannot insert the file name because our file is present inside images folder so whenever we are accessing our images are present in that folder so from that folder we should access the image and we have to display so we cannot insert this file name definitely we cannot insert and also this temporary part we cannot insert then what we have to insert we have to insert this variable because inside this variable itself we are having this images folder path then we are having file name so whenever we are accessing it's like we are giving folder then we are writing our image file name so from this folder we can access the images and we can display in our browser so here i will copy and for this we have given the data type as varchar so i will be pasting this variable now i will execute my query i will write here result is equal to my sqli query inside this we have to pass connection and then we have to pass insert image now here i am using connection so first i should be including my connection i will write here include my connection is present inside this includes folder so here directly i will be writing includes inside that i am having connect.php now below this let us check if it is successfully inserted or not i will write if my result is executed successfully then i will write echo data inserted successfully else i will be using a die method inside this i'm just going to pass my sqli error and then we are going to pass our connection variable save it come here refresh this one now i got data inserted successfully let me come here 
I will refresh this. I will come to browse. Now you can see ID 1 and also images part is added. After that, file name is also present. Why? Because here I am having profile 1 JPEG. And when I refresh this one, this data got added inside the database. But if you see in this folder, we are having only one file with that image. Okay, same image will not be added again inside this folder. Now I will click on choose file. I will be selecting profile 5. Open. Click on submit. All profile 5 data is there. Data inserted successfully. Let us come here. Refresh this one. Now we are having profile 5. And when it is present inside this images folder, we are having this file. We have just inserted our uploaded image path. So simply what we have done while inserting the data, we have inserted this entire path. Now whenever we want to access that path, we can access the data from the database and we can easily display in our table or images. In this lecture, let us understand how to display error message. What I mean by error message? Now here, I have not selected any image. Now when I click on the submit button, you can see entire data is deleted. I got empty array. I do not want this one. If I am not having any image selected, then I should be getting one message. Please select the image. So without that, I should not be able to click on submit button and data should not be inserted inside the database. Now I will refresh this one. Now you can see, now in my database, nothing is added. But still, without this data, if I click on submit button, I should not be having this. You can see error code I got for because I have not selected any image. Now what we will do? Above this, I will be creating one variable. I will write here error is equal to empty string. And below this if, below this if, I will be writing another if. And inside this, I will be checking if empty. What is empty? I have to check. I will check if my name is empty or not. And how we have to check? Using this, we got our entire array. Inside this array, we are having all these keys. From that, I have to check if this name is empty or not. So I will copy this entire thing. Paste it here. Then I have shown you another way. We can write like this or we can write like this. For temp name, I have written. Now I want to check for name. So after this square bracket, I will write another square bracket. I will be writing name. Open curly braces. Okay, simple. After checking if my button is set, for below that I am checking if this name is empty or not. If it is empty, then simply I have to display this message. Error, I will write, please insert an image first. Then I will be writing else. Inside this else, entire code will be displayed. I will remove that closing tag. Below this, I am just going to close. Entire code will be displayed inside this else. If it is not empty, only perform all this operation. If it is empty, then display this message. If it is not empty, then perform all this operation. So using this empty function, we are checking if this is empty or not. If this is empty, it will return true and this message will be displayed. If this is not empty, it will return false and else part will be displayed. Save it. Refresh this one. Now you just focus. I will click on submit. Nothing happened. And also, this message is not displayed. I will click choose file. Profile 6, open. Click on submit. Profile 6 is added. Data is inserted successfully inside the database. Now when I click on submit, let me just come up. You can see nothing is happening. And also, that entire empty array has gone. Why? Because this condition became true. And here I have come inside this block. Now what I want to do, I just want to display this error message in my HTML. So I will come down. Below this container, I will be writing PHP. I will be closing PHP. 
inside this i will check for this condition if my error is not empty only then i should display this error message if it is empty that means i am not having any error message if it is not empty which means whatever variable i am having this entire value is stored inside this error message so if it is not empty only then i have to display the message so this is my php below this again i will open php i will be writing here end if and i will be closing php now in between i will be writing my html and for this i will add the class class name i will give as error message close it and again i am just going to write php what i have to display i have to display my error again i am just going to close php and also close my paragraph okay simple i have simply written if statement if my error is not empty which means i am having some value assigned to my error variable so simply display that error message and finally i am just closing my end if so in this kind of situation you do not have to use if else you can directly use if statement and you can display your result now i will refresh continue now i got this error syntax error unexpected token end if so one thing you should remember whenever you are closing this end if and when you are writing this if statement after this you should be writing this colon if you do not write then you will be getting this error so we have only written if statement inside this we are checking if my error is not empty then condition becomes true i will come inside this if it is empty then condition becomes false and below this whatever statement i am having that will be executed save this now i will refresh now i will get this message please insert an image first again when i click on submit you can see it's getting refreshed and i am having this message select file i will choose profile 6 open click on submit profile 6 data is inserted successfully i will come here inside this we are having profile 6 as well this is how we will be checking if the image is present or not and then we are just going to insert the image if it is not present we are displaying error message if it is present then we are just inserting inside the database let us now understand how to display images whatever data we have inserted inside the database now same thing we have to extract from the database and display in our website now when i click on this view profile i am inside display.php and this is my dummy table i have back button i will be redirected to index.php view profile i am inside display.php so i will open display.php inside this we are having this basic table you can see basic demo table now what i will do below this table body i will be writing php code php and close php first thing we should be including connect file i will come to index.php copy this and here i am just going to paste first step second what we have to do we have to select entire data from this table for that we will be writing one query i will write select image is equal to select i will write here star i am having only two columns select star from my table is profile copy and here i am going to paste whatever table name you have created accordingly you should be giving your table name if you are having different table name in final code according to that you can create the table now i have to execute my query i will write here result is equal to my sqli query inside this we should be passing two parameters connection and query variable connection variable and this query variable now what i want to do i want to select all the data from the database and we have already seen in our projects select all the data we are going to wrap inside while loop so we will write while 
I will create one variable row. I am not explaining this again because this entire process we have understood in our project one. For this, I will be using my SQL I search asoc. Inside this, we should be passing our result variable. I will just open my while loop. From this database, what I have to select? I have to select this ID and image. I will create one variable. You can give any variable. And this row will be holding entire array. That is nothing but associative array. Before that, let me just write here print r. Inside this, I will just write here row. Save it. Come here. Refresh this undefined variable connection. Let me come here. We have con. Let me come to display. I will write con. Save it. Refresh this one. Now you can see inside this array, I am having id. Then I am having image. Id2, id3. So entire data will be displayed in the form of array. So from this array, what I have to access? I have to access id. I will remove. I will create one variable id. So from this array, I have to access my id. Okay, this is nothing but an exact column name what we have given in our table. Then again, I have to access my image. So below this, I will just write here image. Inside this row, I am just going to pass my column name. This variables can be anything. But inside this, whatever you are passing, it should be exactly matching with this. Because this row will be returning array. And inside this array, whatever keys we are having, exact key we have to pass while accessing that value. Now I will save. Refresh this one. That array has gone. Now we have accessed this data. Now if I just want to print this data, let me just write here image. Save it. Refresh this one. Now what happens? Entire image path I will be having. This is one first image, JPEG. Then second image, third image. So all the images, whatever I am having inside the database, that will be displayed. And why we are getting all the images? Because we have used while loop. Unless and until I am having data in my database, entire data will be displayed. Now, instead of this, what I should display? Let me remove this. I will write single quotes, close. I will copy this entire table row. And inside this, I am going to paste. Now, inside this source attribute, I have to display this image variable. Copy. I am just going to concatenate. Concatenate image and again dot. Save it. Refresh this one. You can see all the images I am able to access whatever I am having inside the database. Now from this, this dummy data, I will just remove. Remove from here. And also in place of this ID, I just want to display my ID. I will just concatenate. I will write dollar $ID. Again, I will concatenate. Save it. Refresh this one on line 27. Let me check. Here I have to mention dot. Save it. Refresh this one. Now you can see I am having IDs as well. So in my database, whatever path I am having, let me refresh my database. Inside this, multiple times I have saved this profile 6 because multiple times I have clicked on submit button. So that is the reason. This file is inserted inside the database. Now, while just displaying this, you can see these images are displayed from the database. Now, what I will do, I am having 1, 5, 6. Let me come here. Come back. Choose. I will select this profile for open. Click on submit. All profile for data is displayed. Data inserted successfully. View profile. Below this, I am having this profile for and also inside my database, I am having this profile for data. 
okay this is how we are going to insert images inside the database and we will retrieve images from the database so you can also check for multiple condition if the image is already present then again you do not have to insert but as of now i hope you understood how to insert images inside the database and also how to retrieve images from the database let us clean our code without inserting any image if i click on submit i will be having this error message now here i am going to select this profile tree click on open submit i just want to delete this entire thing i will come here index.php from here we have displayed this echo remove it then we have this file name i will remove and also we have displayed this temp remove and also we have displayed this extension i will be removing and also this extension okay just clean by yourself whatever echo or whatever print statement you are having just remove it from your code now i will refresh submit please insert an image first choose file profile tree open click on submit data is inserted successfully come here refresh this one profile tree is inserted now i'll come back view profile profile tree images are displayed okay this is how we are going to insert images inside the database and we are going to retrieve images from the database just practice this project because inserting images inside the database plays a vital role and also you should understand entire concept why we are creating this why we are using explode you can also use different ways and you can insert the image inside the database and why we are passing this one and why we are passing this variable instead of file name you should understand each and everything if you have made it till here congratulate yourself because i understand it is very difficult to sit for a very long time and complete project and watch theory lectures and complete all the sections so just congratulate yourself and thank you so much for spending your time and watching it till here next we will continue with our one more exciting project and if you want to know more about php and if you want to practice more projects on php enroll into php mastery course link is provided in description